How's it going on everybody? My name is Becoming the Nemetro Service and welcome back to the channel. This virus thing that is happening all around the globe has affected a lot of things around us, including Call of Duty. To the point that the subject of today's video is a thing that we are all almost perfect in real life, but suck at it hardly when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And that would be social distancing. One of the hardest challenges in Cold War Zombies at the moment because it's a Dark Ops challenge and Dark Ops challenges are meant to be hard, you know? Most of you know what social distancing is and that is exactly why you have clicked on the video. But if you don't know what social distancing is, it's a Cold War Zombies challenge, a Dark Ops challenge specifically, that you need to go from round 1 to round 20 without taking any damage. So it means no fall damage, no zombies attacking you, no zombies throwing shit at you, no Megaton blasting you. Whenever any of these things happen, you gotta quit and do it again. Before going to the guide, if you're new to the channel, make sure to please join my subscribe button's friends. He's really close to a thousand friends, so go help him out. Let's divide the video into parts. All the parts are stamped down in the description so it will make a section throughout the video so if you want to later come back to a video you know which part you're looking for. For the first part, the loadouts. Because mainly throughout this method we are going to stay in the spawn area, we can't get out, we can't pack a punch our gun and we can't upgrade our gun. So you need a strong gun to carry you through 20 rounds. The trusty Howard 77 is your choice. With the agency choke muzzle, the 25.2 task force barrel, the ember sighting point body, the Stangate round 2, and the marathon pad stock, you will be having the ultimate gun while completing this challenge. Alongside of the Howard 77, bring the trusty ring of fire. You, you gotta need it. Now what you need for actually trying this strat for yourself. You will be needing the knowledge that I will be giving you into the video. You will be needing a good loadout that I just gave you. You will be needing a little bit of luck and you will be needing skill. It won't be easy without skill. And if you think you're not a good player, then think again, you bitch, you're amazing. Now that you got into map, the first segment is from round one up until the end of round five. This is the easiest part, but it doesn't mean you can't get hurt. So watch out, be aware of your surrounding because you still can't get hit. Now what I need you to do, let all the zombies come out come into the map don't kill them when they're spawning because if you do so they will die and you won't gain any salvage or any drops with the Howard 77 loadout that i gave you you will be having increased amount of salvage drops and that is exactly what you need so let them all come into the map kill them carefully and as fast as you can to so go through these five rounds with as many salvages as you can now from round six to ten it's gonna get a little bit trickier you still need a lot of salvage so let the zombies still come out you can wait through the round to let them all come out and become one horde so you can hoard them all up. But when you've killed the first couple of them, that exact number will spawn again. So these are what we call stragglers. The zombies that will spawn after you kill the zombie. Not that many, so do not worry. Just kill those zombies that are separated from your horde, then hoard them all up, then kill them all individually, and grab all the salvages. Now you might be asking, why the hell am I even grinding salvage? What do I need salvage for? You need those green salvages to buy yourself monkey bombs. A thousand... For each monkey and you need those blue salvages buy yourself chopper gunners and bear in mind do not waste your blue salvage because chopper gunners are necessary for this run so because we are grinding out salvage throughout these first runs avoid all the nukes before you have bought yourself the chopper gunner now to the hardest part throughout this run it cannot get harder from this round 11 to 15 this is the hardest part because some of the zombies haven't made up their mind yet some of them are walking then some of them are running and it will make an inconvenient horde, and you don't want that. Plus, a lot of stragglers will be joining you. So bear in mind, you might need to horde all the zombies twice or even three times throughout the rounds. The blue salvages drop rate will increase massively, so you can easily grind out your chopper gunner. If you have 250, wait for the round to finish up, go get your chopper gunner. Now, you're free to use all the nukes that you want. Now, every time, if you haven't turned on the power, which is the strat that we are going for, a megaton will spawn at the beginning of the round 15. So when the round is changing from 14 to 15, Chug a monkey bomb out, throw it down. Now wait for the cue from one of the announcers that will tell you a radioactive thing is on the map near you. That's the Megaton. When you hear that, let Megaton come out uh, into the map, pop your ring of fire, then immediately go to your chopper gunner. You have to do this perfect, he might shoot at you, and that is exactly why we have ring of fire. Now when you're on the chopper gunner, locate the Megaton, fuck him up, and fuck his adopted child as well. Show no mercy. When they're dead, focus on the other zombies, clear as many as you can. If you couldn't finish the round and your chopper ran up, don't freak out, get back to hoarding, and now you're on the last part. After the Megaton round was over, you can pause the game and switch another class 
that has ether shroud so if you get stuck if you think you might get stuck you can activate ether shroud and get out of the situation and if done it currently and you've let the megaton to come into the map then you've killed him on his body will be a part for the die wonder weapon if you grab that part there's a good chance that another megaton won't spawn on round 18 but if you forget to pick it up the megaton will spawn on round 18 so you need to grind and buy another chopper gunner for that one as well and if you didn't find that part don't switch to ether shroud just stick back to your ring of fire from round 16 to round 18 the two final rounds, yes, two, are the most consistent rounds. All the zombies will be running, so you have a consistent horde. You have stragglers still, so you need to watch out for those as well. But what I suggest you to do, finish round 16 as fast as you can, finish round 17 as fast as you can. Then, you probably have enough salvage for another chopper gunner. At the start of round 18, let all the zombies come out, then activate your chopper gunner. Kill as many zombies as you can, but leave one. One tiny zombie has to stay alive. You do not want to finish round 18. When you're sure you have one zombie, come out of the chopper gunner. Now open up all the map, go up there, grab stamina because you might take fall damage and you don't want that to happen. Then go down to the facility and remember, through your route to the facility, do not touch Juggernaut. If you buy Juggernaut, it will count as a damage that you've taken. Whatever you do, don't buy Juggernaut. If you buy Juggernaut, you're fucked. Okay, now that we're clear, turn on power. It's up to you if you want to pack a punch or not. If you don't pack a punch, when round 20 starts, you will have completed 20 rounds with your starting loadout, and it will count towards another Dark Ops challenge as well. And that would be another video for another time. After you decided if you wanted to pack a punch or not, go up to the penthouse spot, kill the last zombie, and voila! The round 19 will be a dark round, and all of the dogs will spawn in front of you through that hallway, so you're safe back here. Focus on the play count, kill every single one of them, after you kill the last dog, make sure you do not walk through that Nova gas. The round won't end for a couple of seconds. They're obviously baiting you. They want you to go and grab that max ammo and step on that Nova gas. If you do, all is over. Gotta start again. So hold still and wait for the round to turn to 20. And when it does, a big message will pop up on the screen and tell you you have achieved social distancing and a calling card will be added to your inventory. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Give it a couple of tries, you get through it. Thanks everybody for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Actually, if the video was helpful, do somebody a favor and send it to them. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night and I'll be seeing you guys later on.